question number 76 which says that the maximum number of electrons present in an orbital whose L value is equal to 2 and M value is equal to 0. Here we already mentioned the orbital. So, if there is no any orbital, how many electrons can come? Only 2 because each orbital can only occupy 2 electrons. यहाँ पर अगर कोई भी वैल्यू होती L और M की और अगर यहाँ पे ऑर्बिटल मेंशन कर दिया तो नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल बी ऑलवेज इक्वल टू टू सो ऑप्शन नंबर टू इज आर करेक्ट आंसर सो मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सेवेंट सेज दैट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज मोस्ट सॉल्युबल इन वाटर सो जस्ट वी कंपाउंड में हाइड्रेशन इंथैल्पी compensates the lattice enthalpy that compound will be more soluble in water but if we look here we have cesium iodide lithium fluoride and magnesium hydroxide so they have a very high value of lattice enthalpy so they are least soluble in water but if i talk about beryllium fluoride its lattice energy should be very high because the size of both the cations and anions are comparable but this is an exception to the trend. Why? Because if I see the structure for beryllium fluoride, it has two vacant p orbitals like this. So when it comes into contact with water, the water molecules enter into the vacant orbitals and forms the compound. BeOH2 F2 2 negative and 2 H plus will be eliminated. So the beryllium fluoride will be most soluble in water due to this phenomena. So option number 1 is the correct answer. So moving on to the next one students we have question number 78 in which we have to find out the amphoteric oxide. So if I see carbon monoxide which is a neutral oxide and we have the oxide of bismuth which is a basic oxide. Next we have lead oxide which is an amphoteric oxide. And the last we have CO2 which is an acidic oxide. So the only amphoteric oxide that is option number 3. So moving on to the next one students we have question number 79. It says that in which of the following maximum energy is released. So in all of the four processes an electron is adding to the species. So if an electron is added to the species, means it is talking about the electron gain enthalpy. So in this case, we have oxygen and we have sulfur. And you know that the sulfur has the higher electron gain enthalpy than the oxygen because due to the small size of oxygen, when an electron is added to the oxygen, it suffers repulsion. So the sulfur has the higher electron gain enthalpy. So if I talk about this process, means the addition of electron to sulfur, the highest energy will be released. And when the next electron is added to S negative, means we have in this process we have to give the extra energy. So this process will be endothermic but the first process will be exothermic. So option number 3 is our correct answer. So moving on to the next one now we have question number 80 in which we have to pick out the correct statement. So in the first case we have the compounds which have intramolecular hydrogen bonding are non-volatile. So I will give you an example of a compound which shows the intramolecular hydrogen bonding which is an ortho nitrophenol. So in this case we have intramolecular hydrogen bonding. And the other compound we have that is 
para nitrophenol and in para nitrophenol we have intermolecular hydrogen bonding तो जहां पे इंटरमोलिकुलर हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग होगी मतलब दो मॉलिक्यूल्स के बीच में हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग होगी दैट कंपाउंड विल हैव द हायर बॉइलिंग पॉइंट बट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द कंपाउंड इन व्हिच वी हैव द इंट्रामोलिकुलर मींस एक ही कंपाउंड में हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग हो रही है सो मींस दैट कंपाउंड विल हैव द लोअर बॉइलिंग पॉइंट एंड दैट विल बी मोर वोलेटाइल इन नेचर सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज एब्सोल्युटली इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट नाउ वी हैव The second statement which says that the CH4 molecule has only four HCH bond angles which are of 109 degree 28 minutes. So we have a CH4 molecule that is a tetrahedron. And it has six angles which are equal to 109 degree 28 minutes not the four angles so this option is also incorrect now we have the third option which says that in xco3 and xco4 the xc has hybridization sp2 and sp3 respectively so in the case for xco3 case for xco3 we have three sigma bonds plus one lone pair so the hybridization will be sp3 and if i talk about the xco4 so in xco4 there are four sigma bonds and no lone pair so the hybridization will be equal to sp3 so in the both compounds the xc has hybridization sp3 so this is also incorrect so now we have the b2 molecule contains only pi bond so if i write the electronic configuration of b2 molecule it is sigma 1s2 sigma star 1s2 sigma 2s2 sigma star 2s2 and pi 2px1 and pi 2py1 so the bond order is equal to 1 and this bond is formed by the pi bonds as the electrons are present in the pi bonding molecular orbital so option number 4 is absolutely correct Moving on to the next one.